The much-anticipated digital switchover has finally been activated in Lagos. At the well-attended event, the Minister of Information and Director General of the National Broadcasting Corporation says the choice of Lagos as second phase is very strategic because of its large market. Now, Plus TV Africa correspondent Kayode Ladeinde reports. It has been a long walk for Nigeria to achieve the digital switch over from analog. Though the pilot took place in 2016 in Jaws Plateau State, but stakeholders here agree that the real deal is Lagos, which produces 60 to 70 percent of the advert content on TV broadcasting. When we began this journey of the implementation of the first pilot room in Jaws in 2016, even then, and I remember at the strategic meeting with Honorable Minister, we consciously decided that Lagos, being perhaps the biggest city in Nigeria and hosting the largest demography of Nigerians in a particular city, can only be switched on after experimentations from other smaller, albeit not less important cities in this country. For all of us at Bonn, this is like what we've been waiting for. As you know, 60% of advertising revenue is done south in Lagos. And so for those of us, especially our members, who have been on just for the past five years, it has been a real challenge. And so we want to say thank you for making this possible. The massive potential job opportunities for teaming youth is also part of the burning issues discussed here. The DSO is not just about high fidelity sound and picture. It is about creating jobs, especially for teaming youth stimulating local content and empowering channel owners. While the DSO television platform branded as free TV offers its viewers about 60 digital channels, including sports, music, movies, and news. Universally, technology is now a fundamental and critical deliverable of every innovative government. It presents an opportunity for the citizens to have access to local, national, and international space. This is the beginning of second phase, which will extend to 13 more states before the end of the year. Though it took the digital television train over three years to arrive in Lagos State from its last stop in Osho State, the train is now ready to move faster. The DSO train has not changed from narrow gauge to standard gauge, meaning it will move faster to cover 13 states across the country this year alone. The federal government has said a mid-2022 as deadline for the final digital switch over across the country. With so much prospect projected from this project, stakeholders advise that the process should be a win-win for all the stakeholders, including the consumers. Kaya de Ladeinde, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.